Hey swimmers, welcome back to the Swim Vice channel. This episode of the Pro Series is based on a 2012 semifinals event of the 200 meters men's breaststroke. Uh, in this race, I'm going to freeze frame it and show you a couple of highlights of an athlete by the name of Michael Jameson, his breaststroke kick, and a couple of other points um, to watch. So let's go right to it. Now, before I get started, if you are serious about improving your swim practice, your breaststroke technique, your freestyle technique, be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner. Okay. So I'm going to go through a few clips here. As you see from his above water and underwater, you can start to see how his body is aligned on the surface. Now in just a moment, I'm going to freeze frame it and I want you to see his body line when he's about to finish his kick. So right about here, look, as you see here, it's at an angle, but his body line is completely on the surface, hips, shoulders, the whole thing. And you see how close the bottom of his feet are to the, to the surface of the water. Okay. So that's how high you have your head position when I'm sorry, not your head position, but your body position when you are swimming breaststroke. And that's how far the kick comes up driven from the heel rising. That's the difference here. So you see how flat he's able to bring his foot. And also to note here is he's just finished his breath and that's where his kick is, which is right about to finish. So the kick is the final part of the stroke. This is the sequence and how you move. And you see he has his body line really on the surface there. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in improving your Restro kick. I have a link at the top right hand corner for a couple of videos to help with your swim practice. Okay. So moving on right about here, this is at his full glide. So notice completely extended with his body position. Notice his legs, his feet, all of that is extended. There's absolutely no flexion. Not only that, but when he's extending his arms, he's not stretching really from his shoulders. He's stretching more from his back. That's where you get a lot of length and body line in the water. And that's what also helps position yourself to be higher on the surface of the water. So you allow the water to fully support you. So he's fully extended, mainly lengthening from his back. So really good shot there. Yeah. So on this next clip, which shows him swimming towards the camera, notice how relaxed his hands are. Okay. So there's not a lot of tension there. His hands are very relaxed, but it's a quick sweep, mainly from his upper body, literally moving, or I should say sweeping his upper body forward to create momentum. It's not from pulling the arms aggressively. His arms do come close to his body line, but it's a quick sweep. And you see again, how relaxed his hands are. And that's just an indication that his arms and hands are relaxed and more of his power is coming from the center of his body, not from his extremities. So in this freeze frame here, just pointing out that kick again, look how flat his foot is and look how close to the surface it is. So if you're working on breaststroke kick and you're working on improving that foot turnout, I have a couple of videos that will help um, with this part of the stroke. So you get the most out of your breaststroke technique. All right, swimmers, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I will see you all next week.